In the past few years, thermal optics have proliferated. I'm out here to show you a new player, Black Knight Optics, and what their model, the Falk 35 Max Plus, can do and how it can perform for you in the field. Over the past few years, I've tried different types of thermal optics. From the more basic Leopold LTO Tracker to the more advanced FLIR Breach. Since the LTO Tracker was released, however, things have changed. In my description of both of these units, which you can find in the description below, I explain how they perform and what you can expect from them in the field. Fast forward to 2020, it is clear that the development of thermal optics is not over. Earlier this spring, I got in touch with the Black Knight Optics as I was keen to see how a smaller manufacturer could perform against the larger players in the field. This particular unit leans towards the high end of the Black Knight range, which at the moment focuses mainly on thermal monoculars. As you can see on paper, the detection range of the Falk series ranges from 600-ish meters up to 1200 meters. In other words, from the entry level model Falk 13 to the Falk 50, you can easily get your needs covered within various budgets. The main difference between these models is the detail output. In the more affordable versions, you'll be able to detect heat at range, but not much more than that. In the more advanced Falk 35 Max Plus, you'll be able to detect more detail at range and thus you'll be able to identify earlier what you're looking at. The unit is designed to be handheld and operated with one hand. It weighs around 650 grams and has a stated battery life of four hours. It can be charged through a USB cable which can also be powered with a power bank. Three dedicated function buttons on the top are easily accessible for one-handed operation. Standard cycling through the various detection modes is easily accessed. You can choose white hot, black hot, red hot and rainbow, which are all useful depending on what you're hunting. There is a native 2.5 optical zoom and a 4x digital zoom in two stages and a recording function integrated which takes photos and records 640x480 video. The menu is easy to navigate and a function drawn from the camera world is the ability to control the unit with Wi-Fi and also send files to your phone. Smart. One point to cover is the lack of comprehensive weather sealing. In the manual it states avoid bumps and moisture which is all understandable. Although this is a highly advanced piece of kit it would be good to see more confidence in the amount of abuse the unit can take. Now, enough talk about the geeky points of the unit itself, so you can make your mind up on your own. Bear in mind that the output video is low resolution, which means these clips are not a real representation of what you actually see in the unit. The micro HD viewfinder is more than good enough for smooth viewing in the field. Now to the deal breaker for a lot of people. The stated retail price is around 3,000 euros, which is a lot of money to pay for most hunters. However, as this is towards the higher end of the Black Knight units, you can find more affordable units such as the Falk 13, which retails at just over 1,000 euros. As with all thermal images, there's always a trade-off, and that comes down to what you're using it for. This particular model is very responsive and high performing and as such suited to stalking. However, if you're using your thermal imager at a high seat or at a feeding station, you might want to consider a less expensive option. Either way, the Falk 35 Max Plus is high performing, high quality, and if you decide to go for this model, it will not let you down. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this overview, Please like and subscribe to my channel and also let me know what you think of thermal images in the comments below. Until next time.
skitjakt.